In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four options on USB cable infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've just created this USB cable design completely in PowerPoint. And when I click, it will show the first option. You can see here the title detail text along with the icon. And then when I click, it will show in a different color combination, the option two, then the option three and option four. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray background. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much height and width later on we can increase or decrease shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any a uh, blue color then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the rectangles top corner rounded just draw this one maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same color then go to rotate you can see I'm rotating left 90 degrees. Let me just zoom in a little bit and then I'm just going to place it exactly at the end and make sure it is center aligned. Then go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle a bit bigger, maybe this much size. You can see here and make it very less curved and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same color and then i'm going to add one more uh, rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size or i can just reduce a little bit and make sure again it is also center shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give somewhat gray and then send this to back now i'm going to add one line here go to insert shapes select the line again draw it from the center from this end to the this end you can see something like this and shape outline you can give somewhat a darker color and then i'm going to add two more square shapes so i'm just going to draw this rectangle hold the shift key so that you get a perfect square shape shape outline no outline shape will make it some dark color here let me just zoom in you can see let me just reduce it further and put it here and one more press ctrl d to duplicate and add here you can see here make sure it is properly aligned and then i'm going to add few more shapes go to insert select the rounded corner rectangle from the top i'm just going to select this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some darker color and then you can see a two small orange point the orange point at the bottom i'm just going to make it more curved you can see here and the top make it more flat drag it outside reduce the size you can see here something like this and then press ctrl d to duplicate add one more here make sure it is properly aligned and then ctrl d to duplicate add at the bottom and here rotate i'm just going to make it flip vertical put one here and press ctrl d add one more at the corner you can see here something like this let me just move this here and move this here all right so we end up getting a shape something like this then what you can do is maybe you can just select this as well as this and give some shadow effect right mouse click go to format object you can go to the effects shadow you can just give the bottom shadow here all right now i'm just going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it bring the other side you can see here and then go to format shape rotate i can just rotate flip horizontal and then just add it here you can see here something like this so with this 
we have completed the usb cable design now it's time to add the options to add the options go to insert shapes and from the block arrows i'm going to select this arrow pentagon draw the arrow maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give some different color combination and rotate you can see here i'm just going to rotate right 90 degrees and then just put the first option here all right let me just zoom in here and then what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes select the this one again which is the rectangle top corners rounded and i'm just going to make it something like this and make sure it is fully curved from the top increase the size you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color combination you can go to more colors and you can just increase more darker color you can see here and then just send this to back and press ctrl d to duplicate and add the other side also and make sure that it is properly aligned and send this to back all right so it looks something like this and then here i'm just going to add the option number so i'm just going to say 01 again center align make it white font make it bold increase the size you can see here something like this and then i'm going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then depending on your requirement how many options you need you can just simply add it so you can see here i'm just adding four options and if you want you can just give some space also let me just move give a little bit space all right maybe this much space is enough and then i'm just going to select all of this by holding the shift key format align just make it on top and then again go to align distribute horizontally so that you get equal spacing and then just change this number to this is second third and fourth now depending on your requirement you can just choose this one and change any color of your choice you can see here just something like this just pick any color of your choice and if you want you can just add some gradient fill also let me just make it some other color something like this the next thing uh, you can just add some title here go to insert text box you can just add your title again center align make it bold and put it exactly in the center and then i'm going to insert text box and then just equals lorem within bracket one i got some a uh, latin text and then just make it uh, justify reduce the font size you can see here and then just put it here something like this so this is my title and then i'm just going to make sure that it is properly aligned okay and press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it to the other options.